What's going on YouTube? Blake from New Vision Residential and today, oh, we got a good topic. Today's topic is yoga and why I think that yoga is bogus. Let's run the intro and then we'll get right into it. Stay tuned. All right, folks, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about yoga and why I think that yoga is bogus. You know me. But hey, shout out to my baby sis for bringing this up. She gave me the idea because she also thinks that it's bogus, right? So I was like, you know me, I'm daring. Hey, I'll take it, make a topic out of it and, and give my opinion. And then you guys can leave your comments below and tell me how you feel about it. Um, sorry for the wind noise. It's a breeze out here today, feels good. So I'm sitting outside enjoying the outdoors. But let me tell you why I think that, the first reason why I feel that yoga is bogus. Stretching is free. I'm just gonna say it like that. Stretching is free. You, you, <laughs> You go out, you spending your hard on money on yoga clothes, workout clothes, right? They've been workout clothes for years, but now they're yoga clothes. Yoga clothes, a yoga mat. The mat been the same mat for years, but now it's a yoga mat. And then you paying somebody to instruct you on stretching that is free now those of you that know me know i'm a soldier and i stretched every day for pt for years and it was free pt is free stretching is free so how do you get something that's free and you get convinced to pay someone to instruct you on something that's free Okay, first thing, uh, we got that out the way. Second thing is, with anything in this world, people always take it to the extreme. So, in my research, I saw this goat yoga. So, I'm like, okay, what's goat yoga? So, I watched this video about goat yoga, and these people are paying someone to have these mini goats walk around them, climb on top of them, and poop on them and around them for money oh, on top of the stretching part. So you're paying somebody, basically you paying for the upkeep of them goats because the stretching is free, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just gotta shake my head at all of this. But anyway, okay. So then, now, then we got. <coughs> excuse me. So we got stretching is free. You paying somebody to instruct you on how to stretch. That's free. And then you paying somebody for their goats to walk around, or walk around you and walk on you and poop around you and poop on you. Okay. Then you got the people that wear the yoga clothes all day. Now that's nasty in and of itself. Cause if you working out, if you actually going and doing something and working out and working up a sweat, and you wearing them same sweaty, nasty, nasty crotch clothes all day, that's not appealing. So if you're doing that, you're nasty. Then you got the next group that goes out, buys all the workout clothes, and ain't working out. The most workout they do is breathe all day. <laughs> so, so what's the purpose of spending the money to buy workout clothes if you don't never work out? Oh. I know what it is. 
you playing a part you want someone to see or meet your representative not who you really are that but why why buy workout clothes and wear workout clothes if you don't never work i mean what do you what what's your workout is it uh, is it is your grocery shopping your workout so you got to wear workout clothes for that i mean if you're working out i understand but if if it's just a fashion statement which it is for a lot of people they ain't working out they just wear look they wear the outfit and and thinking they look some sort of way in it and ain't doing a whole lot of nothing right <laughs> bogus right <laughs> then you got okay then i heard oh well the it's uh it brings you know it helps you to center yourself center myself it helps you to find inner peace inner peace center myself okay so let's go over that one right okay in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 the scriptures tell us that the Savior is the Prince of Peace so if the Savior is the Prince of Peace and you got a yoga instructor telling you that they are the one to help you find your center or, or, or your or your peaceful place what is somebody lying because if the Savior is the Prince of Peace then how can the instructor be the person Introducing peace to you or bringing you or help bringing you peace or bringing you peace. I don't know however they want to word it, but that's what they're selling. They're selling, say, oh, come to you know, yoga class and help you, you know, find, you know, help you find your core, find your inner space. Folks, let me tell you something. For those of you that believe in the one who died on the cross for you, he is the first. And he is the only place for you to find some doggone center of peace or inner peace or inner core, whatever they're trying to sell you. You can spend money on whatever you want. You can try doing whatever you want. But at the end of the day, it ain't going to work without him. Right. And then now Matthew chapter. Matthew chapter six. Yeah, in Matthew chapter 6, it tells us, he tells us to seek ye first. So if you are looking for inner peace, your soul, you know, your, your, you know, your wusa, whatever it is, and you're not seeking him first for it, then once again, how you gonna find it? right so we got i mean i can't recall, goat yoga beer yoga so you stretch and drink beer i can only imagine what they charge you for that you know they probably pouring bud light and charging you ten dollars per, per beer for some bud light or something but anyway listen that's what i'm trying to tell you folks all of these things that people are trying to do to find some dog on peace or some or some something in their lives and they spending money and wasting time and effort in things when we are told instructed to hey come to me i'll give you everything you need but for those that don't know him or understand him or believe in him they're going to keep chasing all of these different avenues, trying to find something that they're never going to totally obtain. If your house is a mess, right? Uh, you know, relationship wise, whatever the case may be. Okay, you leave the house, you go to yoga, right? <laughs> to find some peace. When you go back home, the mess is still there. How do you fix the mess that you're trying to escape from? one answer i'm just saying that's just me but anywho 
So this is why I'm trying to take this is why to me yoga is bogus because they're they're trying to when I was looking at this thing, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to sell me wolf tickets. You're trying to sell me on sitting there folded up like a pretzel and and, and, and and you know waving my hands and stretching out and doing all this stuff, right? Same stuff I did in the military, right? Stretching, right? That that's going to help me find my peaceful place in my core. No. Ain't happening. No. So, I just wanted to do this video. Thanks to my sister, my baby sister again. Oh, hey, check out her website. She has her own business also. Uh, ShopSoulSanctuary.com Go visit her website check her out let her know that you know you watched this video and you came that you went to her site check it out see what she has to offer she has a own business where she does um you know like soaps lotions face creams all that stuff just go to the site i can't explain it to you yeah all i know is i got a house full of this stuff because you know my wife makes sure that we support her business and and that's that so hey let me know in the comments below what you think about your yoga if you think it's bogus or you know or if you you know have found some value in it outside of our lord and savior the one who died on the cross for us right as always i'm blake from new vision residential i pray that you've had a blessed day week month year and that you know that you are blessed and as always i'll see you on the next one